Lost on a strange new planet, three brave but small explorers will need allies to help them survive. Work with the native plant-like species, Pikmin, and collect fruit to save a dying world. Use the nunchuck to guide your explorer. Head over to that onion bulb with the long legs. Pluck those waving sprouts, and you'll soon find yourself surrounded by friendly little Pikmin. Hmm. They seem to be waiting for you to give them a command. Use the Z button on the nunchuck controller to center the camera behind you. Ah, there's a flower. Let's see what your new friends think about that. Point the Wii remote at the flower and toss a couple Pikmin over there with the A button. They won't mind at all. Oh, oh dear. Well, they'll bring their new flower pellets back to the onion for processing, and pretty soon, You'll even have more Pikmin ready to help. While those little fellows are heading back home with their prize, let's see if we can get the rest of our Pikmin to rebuild that bridge. Just aim the Wii Remote Controller at that pile of rubble, and then throw your Pikmin with the A button. Pikmin are so industrious, they know exactly what to do with those bridge tiles. Nice work, guys! Okay, let's go get that fruit. Where'd they go? Ha, ah, there they are. Once Pikmin are done with their latest task, they simply rest and may appear to communicate with one another. I'd want to relax and enjoy the sights too if I lived in a place like this. Get a closer look at this lush and lovely world with the Wii U gamepad. It's easy to get the Pikmin's attention with a whistle and they'll follow you anywhere. Well, come on, we've got work to do. This fruit won't move itself. Some puzzles and obstacles cannot be solved until you have new Pikmin. Use the C button to choose the right Pikmin for the job. Each type has a specialty. For example, red Pikmin can safely walk through fire. Blue Pikmin are the only ones that can survive underwater. Yellow Pikmin have no fear of electric shock. Winged Pikmin fly to hard-to-reach places and carry items over hazards. Rock Pikmin crash through barriers with ease, and they cannot be crushed. Uh-oh, steady now. There's a huge, weird-looking creature up ahead. You'll encounter flyers, swimmers, runners, all sorts of odd things, like Wally Wogs and Peckish Aristocrats. And most of them think you're Pikmin, and you would make a tasty treat. It's sleeping, so let's get over there for a closer look. Take a gander at this thing. We might as well snap a picture while we're staring up its nose. Your friends will want to see this too. Move the Wii U gamepad controller around until your target is centered. Zoom in with the control stick. Use the ZR button to take a picture. Then add a caption and share it on Miiverse. That beastie is between us and where we want to go. So... You know what to do. Hey, it's Brittany. Once you rescue another explorer, you'll be able to do a lot more with your Pikmin. Use the minus button on the Wii remote to switch between commanders and you can reach places you never thought possible. Slide your finger across the touch screen to quickly get a glance at other parts of the map. By working with multiple explorers, you'll get more accomplished each day. Remember that sleeping critter you took down before? Survival of the fittest is the key when you're facing a dangerous creature like this. If you send Pikmin in one at a time, it'll take you longer to battle this beast, and you might lose a lot of your new friends during the fight. Lock in your target with the Z button, hold steady, and then shake the nunchuck to swarm enemies. woo Charge! When Pikmin take on an enemy all at once, the battle usually ends sooner, and fewer Pikmin might be lost. But don't worry, you can still make things right if you lose too many Pikmin or if you haven't finished everything you set out to do. 
Time is on your side, with the option to replay days that don't go according to plan. Just remember, if you don't let them down, they won't let you down. The sun meter indicates the current time of day. When the sun reaches the far right side of the meter, the day is over. You've got all day to wander the world, find more Pikmin, and gather enough fruit juice to keep your explorers healthy. But once that sun goes down, you'd better not be dawdling, or those monsters will come running like they've heard a dinner bell. Get ready to tuck in for the night, and make sure all your Pikmin are nearby. Wow! I guess those Pikmin will follow you anywhere. Now our busy Pikmin can get some rest and dream of the fun and adventures they'll see tomorrow. Will they explore strange new places, gathering more fruit to help you save a starving planet? Will you and a friend work together to defeat enemies in mission mode? Perhaps you'll come across even bigger, more dangerous beasts. Or will you take your Pikmin armies into a head-to-head -head bingo battle to find out which of you is the best commander? Who knows what these brave and trusty Pikmin will encounter next? Thank <laughs> you.